Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's pregame time. Right now, in my head, I'm hearing dun 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 pregame time. This video is brought to you by Extreme Tees. Click on the link below. Make sure you put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get a 20% discount. Now, some of y'all that are new to my channel might know or might not know that I'm a former college athlete, played a couple years in the Arena League too, um, and been, you know, in sports all my life. And my coach would always say that you don't start preparing for the game on game day. Every game that you play, you play way before you hit the field by imagining it, everything that you're going to do, everything that's going to happen. You got to think it into existence. And tomorrow, when it's voting time, we got to think this thing into existence. But, 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 but. Just because you have a positive attitude don't mean you can lay up in the bed and not go out to vote. So don't be one of those folks that's like, well, I'm going to stay here in bed and just pray from afar. Bless him, Jesus. No, you get your butt up out that bed. I don't care what you need to do. You know what's at stake? Everything is at stake. People don't realize this, man. This is a turning point in our whole entire country and the history of the planet. Because if America falls into the hands of these socialist democrats slash marxists we're in trouble not only are we in trouble but the rest of the world is in trouble see because the things that they're trying to push as we have seen for the last four years they play for keeps they're willing to do whatever it takes to win they're corrupt they're crooked they don't care if it's exposed to the public because they rely on bubble heads to just believe whatever narratives the liberal media throw out. When you got the liberal media covering for you, when you have the Democrats corrupt and all sticking together in their corruption, and you got some sorry rhinos that aren't brave enough to fight back, all we got is us. Trump and us. I feel like New Jack City. We all we got. CMP, man. CMP. And my, my brother's keeper. That's all we got, y'all. So if we don't get it done tomorrow, we are in trouble. You think COVID had an impact on this country? Huh. COVID ain't got nothing on the Democrats. Now I'm going back to straight up Denzel Washington when he was like, King Kong ain't got crap on me. Well, COVID ain't got crap on the Democrats. In fact, the Democrats have used COVID to try to push a narrative for Trump to get out of office by saying he didn't do nothing. And yet you gonna let creepy, sleepy, sloppy, sleazy, slimy Joe step in on the wheels of steel? Are you kidding me? That man could barely walk up to the podium, wheezing the whole time. <laughs> and every word come out of his mouth, everybody's scared. They're sitting back like any minute now, he could shipwreck the whole ship. So we cannot let that happen. And what's really behind Joe Biden lies Kimala Chameleon Harris. Now, you don't want her to get on the wheels of steel with that cackling. Nobody want to hear that for four years. We don't want to hear that. So we got to come out in big numbers. And I'm going to tell you right now, never put it past those Democrats when it comes down to their shenanigans. Um, I know we got some stuff going on in Pennsylvania. I'm hoping that the Trump administration and the Supreme Court, you know, takes care of this. Because I do not trust them. Some of the things that they want to do in, in, in Pennsylvania, I'm thinking, why? I mean, you don't want nobody snooping around. You don't want nobody looking over your shoulder while you're counting those votes. What are you up to? That's my question. What are you up to? Yeah, man. So I know y'all are all focused. But just in case you need a little motivation, I figured we go ahead and give y'all one more shot of why you need to get out and go vote tomorrow like your life depended on it. I need to fire y'all up like I'm giving y'all a Marine sergeant speech or something. You know what I mean? I'm talking about lighting a fire right up under your buns and making you go out like you coming out of the dugouts like, yeah, come on. Yeah, 
So take a look at this right here and you tell me, does this motivate you to come out tomorrow? Everybody knows who Donald Trump is. Let's show them who we are. My friend, the next president of the United States of America, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international depression. I said I was running to be re rebuild the backbone of America. Donald Trump. Trump. President Trump. President Trump. Trump. Donald Trump. Look, what's this guy talking about? We're going to try to be responsible and not be, uh, uh, just, I won't get into it, but just be responsible. We find ourselves talking to one of the trust. Americans to begin to trust each other again. What kind of country we're going to be? Four more years of George, uh, George, uh, he uh, is going to find ourselves in a position where, if uh, Trump gets elected, uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be in a different world. And yes, we choose choose truth over lies. Rock and I think it's a right for people to have bad health care. I never believed there would be this much in jeopardy. A plan. I've been taking about talking about for months already laid out. We launched our campaign over on the Oval back in 29 May. Not Malcolm Kenyatta to love his America as much as he does. But I think, I think the action, you know, there's two ways. I was with Barack yesterday, masking, social distancing, testing, tracing. Donald Trump won Pennsylvania, he won by 44 votes, 44,000 votes. You may have heard me say, the intelligence committee community briefed him on it. I'll never give up, nor will America give it up. We'll never wave the flag of surrender. This is not I pray the truth is than the president did in his first year, three years of his. This president portrays himself as a tough guy. Donald, this is President General Stanley, Mc, Stanley McChrystal in the East Coast. You know what's happening. We have a circumstance where in the South, we find ourselves honking you want to trust Americans to begin to trust each other again. So everybody tonight, get prepared, get focused, make sure your car is gassed up. Get out early enough just in case you got yourself a flat tire. You better get the old school bicycle pump and start to get it, man. I don't care if you got to grab it like this with the lips and like you blowing up a, a balloon or a beach ball. I don't care. I don't care. And if you unfortunately or someone is disabled and, and, and you ain't got a ride hey sh i don't care where you at call me i will ride out we are you in california let me see it'll take me uh about seven days but you know what i can make it in about seven hours i'm on my way yeah i don't care what you got to do crawl scratch take a big wheel if you have to you better get on that green machine and get to going get to going okay i don't care if you gotta ride a tricycle skateboard i don't care get there hang glider i don't care get there trike i don't care get there anyway so you've been listening to kevin and kevin's corner i don't know about y'all but i'm focused right now yeah man in my head i'm like that dun, dun, dun. hey dun, dun. and then you know what's gonna happen after they lose right let the bodies hit the blow let the bodies hit the blow let the bodies hit the Float! That's what's going to happen. Liberals are going to be falling out. Yep. And I'm going to be a singing too. One, nothing's wrong with me. Two, nothing's wrong with me. Three, nothing's wrong with me. Four, nothing's wrong with me. One, something's got to give. Two, something's got to give. Three, something's got to give. Ah, be all in the air. Let the bodies hit the floor. Stop it. Leave me alone. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to be following them around. Singing na 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 boo boo, stop running na 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 boo boo. Yeah, man, because they're going hard now. We got to prepare for the after effect. I, I see them boarding up stuff, and you know, folks talking about man, let me get my windows boarded up. You know, these liberals they can't take a loss, you know, they lose their mind and they're swerping down. It's the Trump people who's the ones that's violent. I don't hear no one online talking about if Trump lose. Tomorrow, we're all going to meet up and start burning and flipping over cars and stuff. No, no. Um, but I do expect a fair election. The only reason any of us would have a tissy is if it comes out 
to be very obvious that some shenanigans went on, kind of like what we see happening with Hunter and, 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 and Joe Biden, where it's obvious the things that we see happened in the FBI and the DOJ and the uh, CIA, all of that stuff, where we all know it was corrupt and yet nothing happened. That type of stuff will ruffle our feathers. I'll just say that to be politically correct. Anyway, God bless y'all. Get ready, man. I'm, I'm telling you, go to get a good night's sleep. Get ready, get focused. While you're sleeping, laying there getting some Z's, you better be like, mega, mega. That's what I want to hear coming out. God bless. See y'all next time in Kevin's Corner. Take care. Just want to say thanks for checking out the video. Please check out KC Uncensored, my personal site, where you'll get uncensored material from me along with some archives. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. The link is below this video. If you click on it and put Kevin in a promo code, you'll get a 20% discount. And finally, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And if you'd like to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, there's links below this video to do that as well. Okay, God bless you and God bless America. Take care.